In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria working on the following problem. Courtney is going on a road trip. The function f of t measures the amount of fuel Courtney's car has consumed, in gallons, where t is measured in hours since Courtney left her hometown. Explain what f prime of 5 equals 2.5 means. As they work, consider the understandings they express and determine if their reasoning is valid. At five, so we're looking at five hours after she left home. Mm -hmm. Does that just mean that she used 2.5 gallons since she left home? No, I think that would just be f of 5. Because okay. f of t is the amount of fuel her car has consumed. That makes sense. So f of t, or f of 5 would be she's used 2.5 gallons since she left. Right. Okay. Um, but we're looking for some kind of rate. Right. But this is describing the rate at five hours. So okay. is it saying that at exactly five hours, she's using 2.5 gallons? So like the instant rate of change would be 2.5 gallons. Um, I think that's right. Um, well, maybe not right, but I think that's kind of vague. So it's, okay. So it's pretty much just word for word explaining what that means, but it's not saying. Right. It's not really saying much else, it's just saying... You're just like reading. Instead of reading the derivative of... Instead of reading the derivative at 5 is 2.5, I think you're just kind of reading it as the instantaneous rate of change at 5, at five hours is 2.5. Okay, so it's, I just literally rewrote it. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that maybe at every hour she's had 2.5 gallons consumed. So that the amount of fuel consumed increased by 2.5 after each hour. So you're saying like at hour one, two, three, four, five, how much, how many gallons did she consume? 2.5 and then 2.5, then for three, 2.5, and for four, 2.5, and five, 2.5. So in the span of five hours, she used 10, 11, 12.5 gallons? Yeah. That sounds like a lot of gas. Yeah, but at least we don't drive Courtney's car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that could be it. Um, oh, you know not what? Sure. That would mean she's traveling at a constant speed. We don't know that she's traveling at a constant speed. Okay, so she could be using more gallons yeah. or less, like per hour. Yeah. Like, we're just concerned with hour five. Right. So we just care about t equals 5. We can't say what happened before that. Right. So maybe at 5 hours, for the next hour that she travels, she will consume 2.5 gallons? Okay. okay. I think. I think that explains it pretty well. Yes. And that also makes sense because I feel like for our last guess, so when we were concerned about the gallons consumed overall, our answer would have been in just gallons and not uh, like gallons per hour, which uh, I think is the rate that we want in the end. Right. Which we do have with your description. Yeah. Oh, however, that would say that she would have to travel at a constant rate at hour five. So if we had like a timeline down here, when we had hour one, hour two, three, four, five, that would mean between hour five and six, she would have to be using that constant rate. Or like if she drove for five minutes after mm -hmm. hour five and then didn't drive again until five minutes before hour six, mm. she wouldn't really use two and a half gallons. That's true. Right. So maybe if we didn't say over the next hour, but we said... Like an average? Are you looking for like an average? Maybe not an average, but instead of saying um, over the course of the next hour, maybe we said like, over the course of the next five seconds, she was going to use 2.5 gallons per hour. Okay. But I still think that five seconds, you could drive for one second and then slam on the brake and stop. I don't think that's the... But then I feel like you're looking at the span of five seconds and saying she's using 2.5 gallons. But I guess you're saying per gallons hour. per hour. So if... Well, what if you say if she were to continue driving exactly how she was at hour five, like if she were to continue that at the same speed and using the same amount of gas, she right. would be using 2.5 gallons right. per hour. 
So like suppose, is that, can we say that? Like I think if, so. Okay. So if she were to maintain. Is that closer, you think, to what we want I to think say? so. In this video, Kelly and Maria came up with multiple ways of explaining what the derivative might mean. They decided that some of their ideas weren't precise enough. Was their final explanation accurate? We'll explore how to interpret derivatives in upcoming videos.